2022 grade 8 Goss Math Contest, questions 1 through 10. Pentagon shown has side length 2. What is the perimeter? Okay, well, there's uh, five sides to this pentagon. So the perimeter would be 5 times the side length, which they give me as 2. So therefore, that is 10, right? Because you have 2 here, 2 here. Two here, two here, and two here. Add them all up, and you get 10. So the answer here is E. The faces of a cube are labeled 1 through 6. Three of these faces are shown. What is the total number of dots on the other faces? So the, what they show us are the 5, the 1, and the 3. So the, what they do not show us, the other uh, f three faces, would be 2... 4, and 6. And they want you to add up those dots. So it would be 2 dots plus 4 dots plus 6 dots, and that is 12 dots. So the answer to this question is D. The equation that best represents a number increased by 5 equals 15 is. So let's say the number is 10, n increased by 5, so plus 5 equals 15, equals 15. And that's it. And of the answer choices, the one that looks like that is C. So just be careful when you circle it because some of these look very similar, right? So when you're in a rush, you might circle the wrong one. The line graph shows the number of bobbleheads sold at a store each year the sale of bobbleheads increased the most between okay so you can kind of approximate this is 20 this is I don't know 35 maybe this is 40 this looks like it's a little bit less so it's maybe 38 this is 60 and this is looks like maybe 70 I don't know 70 a little bit more than 70 so 72 so it, it looks to me that it increased the most during this period so from 2019 to 2020 so that's just a question to try to help you uh, interpret a graph so that would be D for this question starting at 72 Ariana counts down by 11s 72 61 50 what is the last number greater than 0 that Ariana will count okay so 72, 61, 50, and let's just keep going. It's not that hard, right? Uh, 39, counting back by 11, 28, 17, and then 6. And then after that, it'll get into the negatives. So the last number before 0 is 6. And therefore, this question, the answer is C. In the diagram, angle ABC is 90, the value of X is. So this angle is 90, so that means all of those add up to 90. 44 plus x plus x is equal to 90, like that. So you just have to solve this equation. So 2x is equal to 46, and therefore x is 23. And therefore the number 6 is b. Which of the following values is closest to 0? Okay, let's draw a number line. Let's put 0 here, and let's plot these. So negative 1 is somewhere here. 5 over 4. Um, I don't know, somewhere here, which is 1.25, I think. 1 squared is 1, so that's 1. Negative 4 over 5 is what? Negative 0 0.8. And then 0 0.9 is over here. So what number is closest to 0? I think it's this one right here because that is 0 0.8. And the next closest is 0 0.9, which is obviously 0 0.9 from 0. So that would mean 7 is D. A jar contains 267 quarters. One quarter is worth a quarter, 25 cents. How many quarters must be added to the jar so that the total value of the quarters is $100? $100 would be 100 times 4, which is 400 quarters. So they want you to figure out how many do you need to add to this jar which has 267. Well, obviously, 400 minus 267, which is 133, that's how many quarters you would need to add in order to get up to 400. And if you did, you would have $100. So 
133 is the answer, which is D. A package of eight greeting cards comes with ten envelopes. Kira has seven cards, but no envelopes. What is the smallest number of packages that Kira needs to buy to have more envelopes than cards? So let's make a little list here. We have cards, and we have envelopes. So initially, she has seven cards and zero envelopes. And then when she buys one packet, one packet of uh, one package contains eight greeting cards and ten envelopes. So she will have eight plus that seven, so fifteen, and then she gets ten envelopes. You got it. But we want the situation so that C is less. Uh, e is greater than E. But is that happening here? No, not yet. Okay, another package she buys, and now we're up to twenty-three because we get eight, right? And we get another 10 envelopes, and now we're up to 20. Do we have more envelopes than cards? Well, not yet. we got to keep going here. 3, another 8, and we're up to 31. Another 10, we're up to 30. Do we have more envelopes than cards? Not yet, but we're pretty close. And then one more, I think we'll do it. 39 and 40, and there you go. Now, the number of envelopes is greater than the number of cards. And in order to achieve that, she had to buy four packages. So number 9, the answer is B. For the points in the diagram, what which statement is true? Okay, so you just got to look through here and keeping in mind that this is positive going in that direction, that's negative, this is positive going in that direction, and this is negative. So E greater than C, well, E is here and C is here. Well, E is a negative number, whatever it is, I don't even know, let's say negative 5 for E. And C, let's say it's plus, plus 1. So E is not greater than C. So that one's out. B less than D. Well, B is over here. B, remember, is on the y-axis now, so maybe it's 4. Uh, D is also on the y-axis, but it's here, so I don't know, maybe 1. Is B less than D? No. So cross that out. F greater than B. F is on the y-axis, so it's about negative 2 approximately. And B is, uh, well, 4. So F is certainly not greater than B. So that one's out. A less than E. A is on the x-axis. So it's about, let's say, 3. And E is negative 5. Is A less than E? No. So by process of elimination, it's E. But let's just figure it out. Is A greater than C? A is about 3. C is about 1. Is 3 greater than 1? It is. So therefore, number 10 is E.